It's my little tail boo lovers. How you all doing? And um, today I'm doing a bit of a sequel video to another video I did for my least favourite rides. Now we're doing it for my favourite. Here we go. Right, starting off with number five, we have Rambazamba, which I talked about in my other video, talking about like, because I don't know why people hate it, or I could see why people might not like it, because it makes some people sick, but to me, I don't know how it makes you feel sick, it's just like a simple like disc ride that goes around on this little track, and I think it's quite fun. It's not like like absolutely godly amazing, but I think it doesn't deserve the hate it has. It's almost like a marmite kind of situation. You either love it or hate it. But I think I think Rambazamba's like slightly more loved than it's hated. But it's still quite a close ratio. But I think Rambazamba's pretty good. And um I know I don't know why people like like, if you've cried on this ride and you're above the age of nine, like, I can't, like, I don't want to sound rude, but it's just a disc, and, like, the spinniness, it isn't, like, absolutely crazy, it's, like, good enough for the fun, good enough to have a little fun, to have a little chill, like, what is so bad about this ride, I don't understand. And why people hate not hating on skateboarders? Skateboarders, literally, like. So with the war with Rambazamba and skateboarder, I certainly prefer Rambazamba. Skateboarder is actually like. I I talked about skateboarder in my other video, so if you want to know my thoughts on skateboarder, you can watch my top five least favorite rides here. Right now we have Skydrop, and Skydrop is um, it's probably is certainly my favourite drop tower out of. That's right, they have three drop towers, and Skydrop is far and away my favourite. Like the other two, all right, but like they they can't beat Skydrop. Skydrop is just maybe and. It's just, it's just fun. It's just good, and um, and and like with the other drop towers at this park, like Drop and Smile or Pirates Plunge. All the time it like drops, like it doesn't really give you much force, so it kind of feels useless. But with Sky Drop, it actually gives you force. It actually feels good. It feels nice to just be able to have that satisfying drop, and like. And Skydrop's in like a perfect place in the park too, because it's right near Rage. You can actually have a pretty good view of um, Rage from here. Or maybe even like a part of the city, you can have a pretty good view. Like you can see the people going up Rage, and it, you just feel happy to realise that you're above those people going crazily upside down on Rage. You're higher, and it feels good. Oh now the green water slide. I can't put the blue water slide on the list with it because either the blue water slide is fun, it's just kind of it's a bit basic really, like and it doesn't really soak you much. Because that's what slides are water slides are like pretty much supposed to do. I mean it's it's still good, but I just much prefer the green one because the green one is just so fun. Also, this image I've got of Greenside on Google. Uh, if you're wondering who these people are, I have no idea. I've taken these pictures from Google just like I did with um my other video. And the green wall side is probably the most underrated ride in the park. Like, because I feel like. It's it's unique. It's really unique because like it's it's a nice tube and 
like nice dark tube but at one point the lights actually turn on while you're in the tube and it makes you feel like you're in the back rooms i talked about this in my other video so i'll try not to talk about it too much but it just feels like you're in the back rooms and this the green one actually soaks you unlike the blue one that just sprinkles you a bit which still feels nice but i want to be soaked that's what you want on a water slide really and i think it's I think it's really fun the green slide and it just it feels good right now we have rage this one's a big boy rage is probably it was my favorite ride for a while until i rode a certain ride which is obviously number one which you may possibly know by now but, um, I'll talk about that after this. So, Rage is just, it's a really good ride. And I think it's really fun. It's, like, fast enough. And it's just, I know, I love it. Like, going upside down's good. The, oh my god, the drop. The drop is unbelievable. Or, or it's really fun, at least. And and I think it's it's really good. I have... Two problems with this ride, though. The first one I'll talk about, which is a pretty minor one, is that it goes by really quickly. And I kind of want it to go around twice. Now, don't worry, it doesn't make it unfun, because it's still amazing. But I just wish it could go around twice. Um, And my other problem with this, which is unfortunately pretty big, but luckily only lasts not too long, is... L like going up that little lift and or not lift but like going up is it's like the worst feeling on a ride at the park or num only beaten by being whipped by the whip but it just doesn't feel good but once that's over you're in for a lovely treat the drop the upside downs the loops the the fun turns it's amazing all around pretty much Alright, so this one is, I mean, I've got to say the turtle looks quite drunk, which is quite cool. Now, I like this ride. I think it's quite fun. Um, I think it's fun. Um, it's a nice swing ride. I think it's quite nice. It's quite unique and tasty. I don't know what I mean by that. But it can't quite make the list, because... You just you can't really beat the standards of the top five. It's not really top five worthy, but it's still good. Alright. Green screen. Oh this one is this one's also good. But like um so right. It's not really top five worthy. Even though it is a classic. So it it's like one of the really good ones. And it's quite a fun coaster too. Um and the staff on this ride are usually quite nice, or, or at least the previous one was, because we were actually able to go twice for, like, like just once. Like, we were actually able to go twice. But I think that's the only time that's happening. It's because the queues weren't busy at all. It was, like, no queues. Um, I think Green Scream's good, and I think it's fun. Um, I like how, just like Rage, it takes your picture, but... I suppose I don't really like that. Um, I think it's a fun ride. It can't really make the list though. And this one is also another good roller coaster. I like all the roller coasters, apart from Kitty Coaster. It's just that one's a bit forced. But this one is actually quite good. Um, I'd say it's like a mini rage. Like, like a really mild rage. Um, and I like it. And I like turning around on it. And it's one of the more fun green rides. Um, I think it's quite cool. I think it's quite fun. I think it's good. Good colours or all that. But the... Of course, the, the one thing that I do not like about it, which is a pretty massive problem, is going up... It doesn't feel bad. It sounds bad. And 
the, the climbing up on this ride, it sounds, it's so loud and it hurts. It hurts your ears and, but you know what, I can forgive it because after that it's really good. I can't be on this though. Alright, I know what you're thinking on this one. I know what you're thinking. Tailboo, why is this? Why are you even just talking about this one? It's so rubbish. It's so kiddy. It's so childish. I agree. But the one thing that's not childish on here are the cops. Or well, as long as you go fast enough. Now, now these are the cops only if you go really fast. Because it makes you dizzy, sick. And it even made me drunk somehow after... But, you know what, it's worth it, it's worth it. Because at least you still have something that's like a baby's ride that you can still make blue ride worthy. So I suppose that's like at least worth talking about. Alright, and I don't think this is surprising for none of you, but my favourite is Axis. So usually at the park, this is like a, a debate with like... If Axis or Rage is the number one ride. And Rage was, was my favourite for a while. But that was that was until I finally rode Axis last year. And I was a bit nervous because it was my first time. But honestly... Two toast for you and Mum. And hand toast for me. So okay. I'll do it. Okay, I need to Okay, sorry guys. My sister was just quickly talking to me. But as I was saying... As I was saying, um, as I was saying, um, Axis is really good, and I honestly prefer Axis because last year I rode in it. I was nervous, but it it became my new favorite ride, and I've been on it lots and lots since. It's just really good, like, like spinning, going upside down. It's like fun in a good way, like it's like. Going upside down is like cool. And it's really cool. I actually really like this ride. It's just and and the colours on it at night are also really good too. Like it it's amazing all round, and I think this is a really good ride. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.